So I just want to talk about this revelation from the TWAB tonight. A big juicy TWAB. Definitely have a look at that. But there, the Ruins Effigy is getting a 66% damage buff to the Transmutation Sphere when we'll pick it up. So all the damage that we do from that sphere is going to be 66% now next season. It used to be 30. So what I want to do is just show you the build that I've been running for a while. And it's just now it's sort of going to hopefully get its time to shine. Just the amount of damage I can get with elemental whirls. I'm also running pressure scars, so when I get kills with this sphere, it's going to heal me and my teammates as well. I'll go into more detail with the build, as you can see there, there's 888 damage. That's from an elemental well. Uh, and font of might. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a build, like I said, I've been running for a while since pressure scars come out. I've just sort of not really used it as much because it's not as strong but next season it's going to be strong with the buff to ruins effigy just to show you again uh, another way to get your damage up with a titan in a titan bubble get the weapons alight and that's also going to increase that damage as well nice crispy damage 959 1199 also there as well so it's have to bear in mind that like this time next season that's going to be 66 percent damage buff this is only a 30 at the moment so we're going to be able to do some serious, serious harm with this, and I'll also show you later on as a little Brucey bonus uh, build on the Warlock, like a really quick little tip on the Warlock to get some nice synergy going. So it is the build anyway. This is the build, I'm running on my Titan, I absolutely love Titan, uh, I love running Bubble, it's not been as popular this season uh, quite a lot, but I'm hoping next season with Void 3.0 we'll get some sort of some some sort of different different working you as a support class for the titan really strong uh, this is the sort of mods that i run to get the best out of runes effigy i'm running elemental ordinance firstly uh, create an elemental well with grenade kills that match my subclass i'm running void so if i get a void grenade kill it's going to spawn me a void elemental well i also like to run elemental armaments Getting void weapon kills or any kill that matches my subclass in this in this uh, instance it's void. So getting kills with my weapons has a chance to spawn an elemental well also. So how that sort of works with Ruin's Effigy, it works from the trace rifle itself and also from picking the transmutation spheres up as well. If I get a kill with that transmutation sphere, rather slamming on the ground or from the blocking and uh, the burning effect it does. That's also got a chance to spawn an elemental well, so you do get quite a lot of them with armaments with Ruined Jeffergy. I also like to run Bountiful Wells, because I get two instead of one. For every sort of beneficial well that I get, so I'm going to get two wells instead of one. Uh, and this one, Font of Might, I like to run this one to get the extra 25% damage. Again, that applies to the Trace Rifle part of the Ruined Effigy, and also the Sphere as well. Whatever damage you do. With the Sophia is also going to get advantage of the Font of Might 25% for 10 seconds. And this is the one. This is like a one that seems to work well with this build. Well of Tenacity. Picking up a Void Elemental Well reduces the damage you take from combatants for a short period of time. This one, it synergizes quite well with it. Because as you can imagine, if you're blocking, you're going to have a chance of creating a Well because you're doing getting kills and then picking up that well is going to reduce your damage you take for five seconds and you get quite a lot of wells or you could use it the other way running around milling stuff with the sphere rather than blocking and you're also going to spawn them wells that way as well to get the reduced damage so as you can sort of see it does work pretty nicely together and all what i've just stated works perfectly with this exotic here precious scars final blows from weapons with a damage type matching your subclass energy create a burst of healing around you so how that affects you it basically heals you bits at a time and it's been buffed recently so it's really good so it heals you and your teammates which also works absolutely perfect with well of tenacity and it all synergizes really well as you can sort of picture maybe seen from the clips getting elemental wells with the ruins effigy blocking is going to spawn wells etc i'm going to pick them up to get my reduced damage the extra damage on it 
and I'm also going to heal myself and heal my teammates and then as a backup I've also got a bubble to create that bit of extra support so yeah I hope you think the build's good I'm going to leave a few more clips running out just to now I've explained what I'm doing hopefully in the clips you'll see what I was talking about and then right at the end I'm going to show you the uh, a little probably like a little minute clip of uh, how to get the best out of it on the warlock as well with a void subclass so yeah i'll leave these few clips running out i hope you think the build is kind of cool so now i've explained the mods and the build hopefully now we can see it all working together i hope ah, i'm only joking it should do right at the moment i've got no damage buffs going on 7 11 but i'm gonna get the healing in a second that's the healing on the left hand side there that's the pressure scars kicking in I've also picked up the elemental well, so I've got that resist. And I've also got the 25% extra damage buff. All sort of works really nicely together. Pressure scars heals me and my teammates as well. The resist benefits me. That's going to get me nice and nice and tanky. Again, it's not one of them that I'm saying is going to be viable for a GM right now, but next season it could be a, a an interesting way to sort of play as well in high level content. It's quite a fun build to run now. But again, it's just not viable at the moment, but it very well could be next season because 66% damage buff is a bit of a beast. So what I'm going to do now is show you the Warlock build. Uh, I'll share the dim link to my mods in the description. So if you just sort of use them mods on this Warlock build that I'll show you, it'll save a bit of time. So yeah, here we go. Here's the Warlock one. I'm going to run it with the exact same mods again. That's why I said cop uh, just remember them or I'll, I'll copy and paste them in, the dim, in a dim link for you so I don't have to sit there and explain everything over again. Because I hate my own voice and I guarantee if I explain them mods again to you what they did, you'd hate my voice as well. But Nezarek Sin, really good with this one as well. It synergizes absolutely perfect. I'm going to get all my regens back quicker with void kills. That's what Nezarek Sin does. And I've got Devour going. And you're pretty much unkillable while you've got the sphere active, the transmutation sphere. sphere. So there you go. Again, bear in mind, I know I've literally banged on about this, but this is 30% damage. Next thing it's going to be 66% damage. So as you can imagine, with a top tree, with a middle, uh, sorry, with bottom tree warlock on Devour, you're going to be like a walking friggin' void vacuum or something like that you're absolutely unkillable and you're going to be putting out some serious damage next season 66% damage I hope, uh, it's been all right for you again any suggestions any other builds we could think of I'm still trying to look for a decent hunter exotic to do a sort of a hunter one I can't really think of one off my head but I'm gonna do a bit of research tonight have a, have a, have a look around try and get some inspiration over a nice cup of tea Anyways, I'll let this finish out and take it easy.